This is the battery that's been powering our van's electrics for the past year and a half. And previously to that, it was running in my Mazda MX-5 track car for the Nürburgring. This is the Tog 500 from Deadweight Industries, and it's a 20 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. And today, we're gonna to be getting rid of this and putting in the Deadweight Industries Dakar Deep Cycle Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery. Guys, it's happening. We've got a battery upgrade. This is so light, I can just throw it. This is only 11 kilos. This is three kilos. A normal battery of this size is normally about 10 kilos. The same as that. Isn't that crazy? So, I'm pretty excited because this is one thing that the van was missing was some big battery power. This has been great to us, but we haven't really been able to stay off grid for long times without really worrying about our battery level. So, with this, we have five times the power of this one, which means basically unlimited power. With our solar, we've got a new DC-DC charger going in the van, and we've got a new inverter. So this video is basically a big electrical upgrade for the van, which was, I think, much needed, and it's just making it the even more ultimate stealthy off-grid camper van. So to prove to you that this weighs only 11 kilos, well, I'm gonna show you. Just like that. I can hold it for five minutes, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted the equivalent power in your van using normal lead acid batteries, you would be looking around 25 to 30 kilos per battery, and you would need two. If you have 100 amp hours of lead acid, it will only be about 50 amp hours because you can only drain those batteries to around 50% if you want them to have a good life of about three years. With lithium ion phosphate, you can drain these down to almost 0% and still have no issues. With about 6,000 life cycles, this battery is gonna last us around 10 years, perhaps. With this battery being only 20 amp hours, it is designed as a starter battery and to replace whatever starter battery you have up front in order to save weight on your track car. It's not really made to be a leisure battery, but we did give it a good test and it served us well. The issue with this battery is we couldn't run, for example, the diesel money. heater yes. and charger laptop at the same time mm. for a very long time. And we'd always kind of have to keep an eye on the voltage. I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. Uh, yesterday, I did sort of tidy up the wiring and make sure everything's good to fit this new bigger battery. Um, it is pretty much plug and play. If you didn't know, this battery sat down here, just like that, under the seat. And the new one is going to do the same, just like that. A good thing with lithium as well is you can run them sideways, absolutely no problem. So in this case, it's perfect because it just about clears the seat and it clears everything we need. It's almost the same dimensions. Uh, it just got way more power. I'll give you a quick rundown of what I've done to the electrics. In order to charge this battery fully and properly, we've gone through a DC-DC charger. These have settings for lithium and basically control the input and output to make sure the battery is getting charged safely and fully. This is fairly simple to install, just uh, positive in, earth, and the same on the other side going to the leisure battery. And because we've got more power, this can also take more current draw at one time compared to this battery. We've decided to go for a new inverter. Our old inverter was kind of all right, but it was 200 watts and our blender is exactly 200 watts. So sometimes it just wasn't enough. You know, you try and blend something and you have to keep switching it on and off, on and off, on and off. So with the extra power, it means we can run a bigger inverter and we've got a 600 watt inverter here, which I already mounted and installed. It was super simple. Uh, just four screws and positive and negative go into the electrics cupboard wired up to the fuse box and we got two beautiful sockets here on and off switch and an extra usb port uh, and another addition is this cigarette lighter because i got one of these laptop chargers i plugged it into this existing cigarette port and it's just all floppy and flappy and no one likes a loose hole so I got this one in. Oh, it goes in much tighter. Look at that. Solid. So that's my new laptop charger. The weather today is not that great, so I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be able to do because the van no longer fits in the garage with the roof box on. Uh, we are like very close to leaving now, 
This is the last thing that we have to do to the van. Thank you to Deadweight Industries for supporting us. And if you want one of these yourself, you can get one with a 10% discount code TEAMATEAM22. If you want one, they're not on the website yet. You have to email sales at deadweightindustries.co.uk. Send them a lovely email and get yourself a big monster battery. DC charger secured so just check the fuse box I think I'm gonna run the signal wire for the charger straight to the fuse box just to a, a fuse which is on when the ignition is on to tell the charger the car is on start charging I just need to run it up under the dash over to the other side Now when we turn the ignition on, we should have a light on the charger. Oh yes, we do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the loose. Okay. 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 Do you want to come with us? Do you want to come with us, Rocky Man? It's very foggy and chilly this morning. So, before I wanted to put the battery in for good, I uh, I got one of these right angles for the diesel heater, which I tried to fit last night, but it didn't work. If you watch the diesel heater install video, I'll put, a, I'll put a clip up here. I didn't do a great job of putting on this pipe. It was kind of mushed and squished. So, that looks much better now. But I did buy some um, some higher quality pipe, but it's it's actually too stiff to run this tight tight bend. So uh, now I have it's quite short here, but I do want to extend it. Another cool thing about this upgrade is we can get rid of this. Oh, so this is the battery that's normally used to start the van. And it's 60 amp hours and 480 cold cramping, cold cramping, <laughs> cold cranking amps. And the 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 battery we just taken out of the van is the same capacity because it's lithium ion phosphate, and it has 650 cold cranking amps, so it has more power from a cold start, and it's much lighter. So technically now we haven't added any weight because. This has come out of the van. That's about probably 11 kilos. And we've put in 11 kilos and taken out 11 kilos. The new leisure battery weighs the same as the old starter battery. And the new starter battery weighs the same as the old leisure battery. <laughs> I'll show you how it looks. It fits just as the number one would. It's solid in there. And now we have maybe 
seven kilos less in this area. So everything is back in. I'm just running the diesel heater before I put like all of this stuff back, just in case. Um, just checking here for any air leaks, and it's, it's fine. It's good. An extra precaution: I put some uh, Ali Fox reflecting material. Uh, I also covered up the terminals. The terminals got a. Uh, Caps on them. It is starting to look like our van again. We've got the fire extinguisher back in. We've got this plastic trim back in. The batteries in. Okay. So what's next? The seat needs to go back in. The seat is back in and I'm happy to say my little fix for the slider worked because I can now slide the seat pretty easily. When I first did the swivel seat you had to sit on it and grab it with both hands and it was very difficult. Basically where the slider pulls up it was hitting the swivel seat so I had to remove a bit of material and just make sure that the slider could come all the way up to engage the sliders properly and now oh, oh I think it slides even better than it used to before the slide the swivel seat oh that's nice that's a relief oh, let's see the space now with the inverter yes that's all right <laughs> look at that how tight everything is. That's awesome. Wow, that's. <gasps> Woo! Like you would put butter on it. <laughs> Did you put butter on it? That's no. amazing. Comparing to how, how it was before. Ah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, I don't need to do this. <laughs> Very great. Well done, love. Very well done. Thank you. Oh, it just—it looks like it's made to fit in that gap, doesn't it? It's made for this van. Okay, I have actually got a couple of things to do. I need to put this piece back on, and I need to put the electric uh, cupboard thing back on. If you're wondering how my wiring looks like, I think not terrible. That's my fuse box. So I've had the diesel heater running for quite a while now. It's nice and warm in here. And you can see on the uh, Bluetooth app for the battery, uh, we've got 95%. And we're currently not discharging. Even though we've got the diesel heater on, we're not losing any battery because we have solar coming in. And it's super cool to keep an eye on all of these things. And you can see also the temperature, uh, 13 degrees down there. So. Uh, it's not getting crazy hot because of the diesel heater pipe. Justina is actually packing the van as we speak. Um, we are going to leave in the next few days. Quick recap over everything we've done to the electrical system for this upgrade. The Deadweight Industries Dakar 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Again, thank you to Deadweight Industries for supporting our channel and providing this van with an epic battery. 
Go follow them on Instagram and if you want to get your own email sales at deadweightindustries.co.uk and use discount code team team 22 for 10% off. Yeah. We also have the Deadweight Industries Toge 500 battery now as the starter battery. So we've basically haven't added any additional weight to the van. We've added some here but taken some off over at the front. We also have the Renogy 20 amp DC DC charger that is basically accepting the power from the starter battery, regulating it, making sure the battery is getting the right voltages and it has temperature protection and lots of electrical things that I don't know exactly about. But yeah, that's that's working. That will charge our battery as it should do. Then we have the 600 watt inverter from Volt Polska. Uh, it's actually the same brand as our solar controller. That means we're going to be able to blend things without having any issues with a blender stopping. Um, we can run anything up to 600 watts basically before we only had 200 watts. Super excited, so happy with the van now. It's got this electrical upgrade and we're gonna be hitting the road within a matter of days and I just can't wait. We're gonna see you next time on the road. Bye.